Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today I'm going to be discussing the fact Ben Richards Everton has left the football club by mutual consent It's a bit hard to introduce a video when he's not actually left to go join somewhere else He's just not been sacked but he's gone by mutual consent He's best for all parties but just before we get into today's video If you could drop a like on it let's try and go for 40 likes on today's video That would be massively appreciated Subscribe if you are new as well I am on the road to 5,000 subscribers I'm trying to hit that before the end of the football season So if you could help me get on the road to there it would be massively, massively appreciated. But Ben Rich 7 is officially left, probably for the better. I'm not going to lie to you. We do need to... Um fulfill his position now because we've only got two fit centre backs at the club restarting and still injured so I expect us to bring in another deal. Just as I ended the last clip we've just tweeted out saying our third signing has driven a long way to get here so as I'm recording this it is like midday on Tuesday about one o'clock ish so I'm expecting a new signing to be announced during this video. It might be Ben Rich Evans replacement it might it could literally be anyone but that's just been announced so if the new signing video that'll be out Thursday. Look at me being a consistent YouTuber I'll have uploaded every day this week if we continue the way we are going but anyway moving on to when it got tweeted out which was at january the 11th at 5 p.m it said news ben richards evan has today left the club by mutual consent the small article then reads richards everton departs ben richards everton has today left the bantams by mutual consent richards everton's contract has been cancelled to allow him to pursue an opportunity elsewhere obviously i'd seen it rumored about on twitter that sully hill moors were apparently interested in him and yeah it'll probably go on i don't think he'll get another league two club or if he will it'll be one of the lower league ones he might end up at like a steep even just something like that but i do reckon it'll be probably his time now to drop down to the non-league to try and help rebuild his career the 29 year old defender arrived at the utility energy stadium in 2019 and scored two goals in 51 appearances for the club one that was against plymouth in february and the other one, I can't remember who it was against, I'm not going to lie to you. But anyway, Bradford City would like to take this opportunity to thank Richard Everton for his efforts in Claret and Amber and wish him best in the future. Now, I thoroughly remember him at the start of last season being an absolute brick. He was one of the best centre-backs in the league. And, you know, it looked like Boyer had got just an absolute steal because I think we got him on a free as well. You know, everybody said that chant about him, which was absolutely class. But then he got sent off at Carlisle at home for something absolutely ridiculous i don't know what he was doing he, he had like the ball and he was trying to like dribble with it and he took a bit of a heavy touch he lunged in on someone and he got sent off and he obviously um had his three game suspension he came back in i don't know if he came back in straight away but he eventually came back into the side and i have no idea what happened to him he like he went from like top end league one standard center back like you're not getting through me i'm gonna win everything yeah a bit like what powdy has been recently in the truman he won absolutely everything i remember specifically at steve nidge away he was unreal he single-handedly carried us to that win he was honestly so dominant in the air which i guess you'd expect from a center back who's six foot four six foot five but he was an absolute animal and he won absolutely everything but when he came back into the side i don't even know what happened to him he just looked completely lost out of his depth and especially this season under McCall he was absolutely terrible like I don't know how old he's 19 I want to say year old Reece Thornton had overtaken him from the starting spot which you know makes sense in a five back formation with the three centre backs playing on out on that left hand side Reece Thornton is a lot more comfortable with the ball at his feet and that's what you need on the, the wide centre backs you need them to be very comfortable with the ball at their feet be able to pass it and Ben Richards Evan every time he used to get the ball he used to clip it down the line nobody would be there Pritchard Wood Novak no one would ever be there and he was just giving the ball away all the time but he had a habit of giving away stupid penalties I remember at Macclesfield away I think we did we had a game in pre-season this year I can't remember who that was against but he gave a penalty to get away there and he was just I think it was Doncaster he just has a habit of diving in and giving away penalties but there was a player in there right at the start and he looks like an absolute solid signing but I don't know for whatever reason I don't know if this has any relevance but ever since he started that clothing line Ravici it's just gone downhill ever since then he probably doesn't have any relevance but there's a lot of Bradford fans who weren't happy with I wouldn't say his attitude, but like he seemed to care a lot more about his clothing line, which I guess, you know, that's understandable, but rather than the football club and all this sort of stuff. And in, there were a lot of people who didn't like him because just of his attitude and all this sort of stuff. But I never didn't like him because of his attitude or because he had a clothing line, all that sort of stuff. I just didn't think he was good enough to play for us anymore. And every time he seemed to step on the pitch this season, he used to have an absolute disaster glass. He looked completely out of his depth. He's 29 now and you can't, you know, you can't be having players, especially when we look like we're in a relegation fight and we're gonna you know we didn't know when the next win were coming until they got rid of McCall you couldn't be having players like that players who were going missing but I remember Stuart McCall's last game he subbed Richards Everton off after like 30 minutes he said it was an injury something like that let's be honest it's because he wasn't very good at football I remember their first or second goal I can't remember which one it was Richards Everton gave their man like five yards and he still got beaten for pace their players still got around him and they went on the score from it and it was just absolutely 
just embarrassing really and he just co looked completely out of his depth and I did feel a bit sorry for him at times and it, you know it's sad to see him go in the way that he has gone you know it would have been nice to get a fee for him but let's be honest who's really going to pay a fee for him like if you look at Hope Akpan he's only just found the club and he left us in June so it's going to be hard for players like that who are in the basement division of the English Football League who have you know not been sacked but have left by mutual consent it's going to be hard for them to find another club obviously there will be clubs looking for you know big tall centre backs who you know can do a, a decent job at this level and I think he probably could do for a lower lower league lower league side uh, in this division now you look at Bradford City yes we're like 19th 20th so we are technically one of them lower league sides but let's be honest we don't want to be there you know we're a team that should be challenging for promotion at least for the playoffs so I reckon he could probably go to someone like a Stevenage do a decent job there you know it might you know it might be all right for a team like that, but I do reckon it'll probably be time for him to drop down to the National League or maybe even like, you know, the National League North, National League South. I don't know where he's from. I think he's from like around the Midlands area. So he might go, you know, somewhere further down in terms of like actual living arrangements and all that sort of stuff. Make sure to let me know your thoughts on Richard's Evan leaving down in the comments below. I presume most of you will agree with me in the fact that it's probably for the best, but we will definitely need to bring in another centre-back now. We've reached Thornton, going to be out until February, March, April time. I don't even know how long it's going to be. I think it is around that February, March sort of time that he'll be back. But I reckon this signing that we're about to announce, I'd, I'd probably put a voice over it at, at some point. It's Niall Canavan from Plymouth Argyle on an 18 month deal for an undisclosed fee. Video out tomorrow. I reckon this will be a centre back. You don't just get rid of a player if you don't have one lined up, especially with us having a game in a couple of days' time. Like, as I recall, this is obviously Tuesday. I know there's still a couple more days to get in a centre back, but you've got to get him registered, you've got to get him into the side. I don't think he'll be starting. You know, you can't really drop Anthony or Pauly unless we're going to switch formation, which I, I don't see us switching from the 4 2 3 1 under Truman and Sellers. It's worked really well for us so far. Apart from the fact we struggle to create chances every now and again. But yeah, I reckon it will be another centre back. It'll be interesting to, interesting to see if uh, he replaces Richard Evans' number. If it is a centre back, you know, for all I know we could be re-signing Owen Doyle or Aaron McLean who knows but anyway guys that is where I am going to leave today's video if you have enjoyed a like would be massively massively appreciated 40 likes as I said at the start of the video would be absolutely class subscribe if you are new as well I am trying to hit 5,000 subscribers before the end of the football season I seem to have got rid of the shadows for now anyway if I record my videos during the day when it's light outside there doesn't seem to be many shadows behind me there is some in this corner down here but that's just because well you know, there's a door there, there's no light coming in through there. So maybe if I open the door, might be a bit more light coming in. But anyway, thank you so much for the spot recently. Make sure you follow me on Twitch, link is down in the description below. Subscribe to my second channel if you want to see any gaming videos. I've been doing like icon packs, foot champs rewards, all that sort of stuff, and a bit of pro club as well with a couple of my mates. So make sure you go check that out. It would be massively appreciated if you could do that. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all tomorrow with probably the signing video. I'll see you all later. Peace. <laughs> Da 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 da